community mapping process acknowledges that individuals, groups and organisations, as well as physical places, all have the capacity to create real change in their community, but that no one can do it alone. I think the, the, the good thing about community mapping is really grasping a bottom-up approach and getting communities to focus on what the positives are in their area and not focus on all your problems. We, we try and address problems along the way, but work on the positives of what you have in your community, the people, the networks, the different groups. But also, along those conversations, you'll learn what, what actual physical assets you've got and what are going on within buildings. So we see it as a two-pronged approach in terms of looking at physical things as well as sort of social dynamics of the community. The Creative Rural Communities team have produced a community mapping toolkit which identifies four stages in the community mapping process. Stage one, pre-mapping, sets out the work involved before the mapping can take place. Stage two, mapping, sets out some examples of exercises you could do to capture the community's views. This may involve a variety of conversations, community surveys or different exercises from the toolkit such as body mapping, my favourite places, idea prioritisation and home is where the heart is. Stage three, taking things forward, enables the community to determine the most useful plan of action. Stage four is maintaining momentum, which is the process of communicating and disseminating information to the community. Eight years ago, I moved to St. Nathan from Cardiff. Um, it was a big culture shock. I felt that there wasn't um, much information in the area about what was going on, who I went to. Lisa and Hannah got together um, and started looking into the community mapping. Two years ago when I met Hannah, obviously I had all these ideas and I didn't quite know where to take them, but Hannah gave me, I would say, the confidence to take all those forwards by implementing the mapping. So we had a structure and we knew um, what questions we needed to ask the residents. I found that the data that was coming out of the community mapping was really invaluable to understanding a lot of the wards, a lot of the communities. Yeah. We, we saw that we weren't so isolated, that a lot of people in, in all over the village, all over the community had a lot of the same ideas and that yeah. brought us all um, yeah. very much together. A year ago I didn't know Dave, I didn't know Sal, I didn't know a lot of people within my community. But I feel now that we've got really strong connections within the community and we've just managed to um, secure a £2,000 play grant for our community centre um, to buy indoor and outdoor play equipment for the children. We got six cardboard boxes. Uh, my wife and I sourced 300 plastic counters on the internet and got them within five days for seven quid. We labelled each of the boxes with a, a ballpark thing, teenagers play facilities, young play facilities, recreational facilities, play equipment, that kind of thing. There were six boxes. As people gave their money in to pay for the bonfire, I stood on the gate, thrust three counters per adult uh, into each person, each adult's hand and said, we'd really like you to tell us how best to improve the village. It got people talking. They watched the fireworks and they stood around before and after the fireworks talking about how they might develop the village. Community mapping has been greatly beneficial for the Council's Development Contributions Division in order to engage with the community and identify their aspirations. What community mapping does is it encourages collaboration, encourages um, cross-agency, cross-system, cross-function working within communities. We use the community mapping tool to map all the services in the local area. Um, and then all of those services were uploaded onto the Dowis Cymru website so now the public can find out what's going on in the area. But one of the key things I think I learned was really for it to be successful you need residents in the community driving it forward and although with St Athen we help facilitate them I have to say it was the passion from that community that made it the success, it was, it was driven from them.